tip on the gas. You guys hear it? 1900. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the 706 4 System Scanner NT. So this is this is new Foxwell Cars uh, report. Foxwell Smart Diagnosis Smart Choice. Uh, we got sp some specifications here. We got 5.5 uh, diagonal daylight readable color L LCD screen, 720 by, by 1280 pixel. Operation system Android uh, 9.0. Says processor CPU 4 core 1.3 gigahertz. Says memory 1 gigabyte SDDR4. Uh, you got SSD hard drive 32 gigabytes. Built in battery 4000 MA lithium. Uh, you got uh, features. It says provides easy diagnostics with more than 90 American and Asian European vehicles and makes. Works with the latest 2020 to 21 models, including cars, SUVs, minivans, light duty trucks sold worldwide. This identifies vehicle quickly and easy with automatic VIN uh, reading, uh, reads and clears codes, turns off uh, MIL, engine, transmission, ABS, airbags, and more. So it shows live vehicle sensors data in text graph, graph formats. It says merges interactive live sensor with easy uh, intuitive diagnostics uh, record plays back your data logs catch intermediate failures uh, one touch update via Wi-Fi the scanner keeps the latest system status at all times unique debug logging allows for quicker and more accurate fixes diagnostics trouble and bugs instant support available from our technical team by team viewer remote control constructed to resist impact damage to tough work environment shout out to foxwell they did send me this um see to test to see if it works see if it doesn't um i'll leave you guys their link down below in the description section of this video they're not paying me for them. all right so we got a nice case here um first thing out is the instructions so pretty much color basic instructions uh you got a booklet here a pretty thick booklet maybe the detail uh, you got a USB and USB type C all right you got the devices um, cable that connects to the car all right so this is the back this is the front uh, this is nice rubber um, it says Foxwell there you got the connectors there for the for the cable you got a USB connector and then you got a USB type C and then a non enough button there uh, let's see what we have in the back. On the back, we got NT7064 system scanner. Uh, rated inputs 9 29 VDC. It says operating temperature 0 to 60 Celsius. Turn it on first and see what it does. Alright, so it's on. Alright, so I'm going to enter my information and. I guess you can uh, register for free so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so you do have to register um, all you do is just send put your email down and they'll send you like a verification code just match it with the back and then screw on the sides all right we got a 2003 I believe 2003 Ford F-150 it turns on and get this plug you guys can see it running 
running rough. The truck is actually running rough right now, so it's reading codes. All right, you got a couple codes here. Uh, it says onboard diagnostics, OBD2 system readiness, test not complete, P1000. You got P1464, air conditioning switch on during self-test, which is normal, we do have that on. We got P0505, AIC idle control circuit fault. You got P0340. Four zero uh, CMP camshaft position circuit fault. We got P one thousand CMDTC onboard diagnostics. Pretty much everything very clear and it's touch screen, so it's very easy to use. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, we're not gonna clear codes. We're just gonna do live data. So hopefully, it we can uh, AC pressure switch. We'll just put all these. Okay. Tells you right here what's what's going on. If they're on and off, and then tells you the graph. If you want to look at the graph. All right. So it tells you the the graph for the cylinder head temperature cold uh, value. So it tells you the life feed how it's doing. Which I'm not a mechanic, so don't get me wrong, I have no idea what that means. Let's see if we can get airflow. There you go. Tells you right there it's going up. Let's look at the RPM here. Here's the gas exhaust circulation. Delta feedback pressure exhaust gas circ uh, recirculation. Battery positive. So it tell it's telling you right there. It's 13.8814. That's normal. Digital switch. Cinder head temperature. Head. Cinder head temperature sensor status. Heat temperature. Hot. There's the RPM, so it's climbing up and down. It's going from 600, 700 to 800, which is normal. You guys hear the, the truck accelerating, so it's pretty nice. It shows you a live graph of what, it, what it's doing. accelerating engine load uh, we got engine load there all right so engine load we're running from 18 all the way to 23 it's going up and down we got 18 yeah 23 is the highest we'll just accelerate a little bit just some of the features this thing has I'm not gonna go over all of them because there's there's way too much to list um, 
this video is gonna be like two hours long already. Uh, fuel pressure, we got the fuel pressure there. Select okay. Uh, fuel pressure, let's see here. Fuel pressure at the bottom. Uh, we got graph. All right, we got the fuel pressure there. So it's not dropping. So as I, as I accelerate, it, it increases. And you drop it down, and the fuel pressure dropped. You accelerate, it's going up. And it drops down again. Uh, error type of selection, make model year. You can write a note down with all the detail um, and probably just print this document. You know, contact information, email, phone, attachment, so you can attach the, the, the pictures. I guess you can email this. So pretty nice. This is a professional level tool, guys. All right, guys. So that's it for today. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I know a little bit, but not a lot, whole lot. So I'm not a professional, but I can tell you guys that this thing works. Don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, and the bell icon. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.